Aquaman the 2nd of May not even break the Marvel Cinematic Universe's lowest box office record set by Amber Heard and Brie Larson. The Marvels, directed by Nia da Costa, was a huge loss for Marvel Studios this year. The picture, which was released on November 10, now holds the record for the lowest domestic opening weekend box office haul in Marvel movie history. The film has the poorest opening weekend in the franchise's history, grossing only $47 million. With its massive budget, the picture is already being dubbed a box office flop. On the other hand, DC is also preparing to release a film that is projected to be a disappointment. The sequel to 2018 Seconds Aquaman. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is scheduled to be released in the United States on December 22, 2023. With the release date still roughly a month away, it has been revealed that the film is expected to earn somewhere between $32 minus $42 million on its opening weekend. If this happens, the movie will be placed below the Marvels. Brie Larson's celebrity appears to have been insufficient to save the Marvels from being a flop. According to Variety, the picture only grossed about $47 million domestically and nearly $63 million abroad in its first weekend. According to these figures, the picture recorded the lowest domestic opening weekend box office collection in Marvel movie history. The film's budget is rumored to be over $274 million, and many outlets have already branded it a box office flop for Marvel Studios. This is rather disappointing given that the film's predecessor, Captain Marvel, grossed over $1.1 billion globally, making it the first female-led superhero picture to do so.